everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, two teams coming in feeling good about how their last game went and want to continue with another win here today. It's the Bills going up against the Rams. With that, we'll send it over to Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. They've got the call in this week five matchup. Larry, we haven't had NFL football in this city for 22 years, but football is back here in Los Angeles. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Rams. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. spin move but the door shut fast as he's dropped and a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive now we haven't met a young quarterback a veteran quarterback. it doesn't matter we haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities right that's true so when you're young it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence nowhere to go here he lost the football skill whatever the case is they're feeling good about just keeping the football there yeah the biggest thing that they're calling it now our ball <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill or the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground whether you get it or your teammate gets it just as long as you maintain possession that's all you're looking for now wins he's gonna find his man that's Tavon Austin and he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. It's opening drive, third down. They go with a slant. It works. And I'm wondering when the league's going to figure it out because everyone throws it on third down. You expect pressure, so you want the ball in the hands of the quarterback quickly. It's a three-step route ordinarily, and you're throwing it where you see the receiver breaking towards you. So it's an inside route. Everyone likes it, and it's executed very well. Second down following the incompletion. They'll run for it with Peterson. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It's a loss of two, now third down. Not only was that a terrific play, but that loss of yardage they created this close to their own goal line, that gives them a little breathing room now as they move them back. And they're breathing fire a little bit right now, aren't they? A lot of confidence being shown by them at this point in the game. down here's the run with Peterson and able to get him down but he does reach the five it's a nice pickup of 12 yards and it gives him a first and goal 
I thought guys that were over 30 weren't supposed to run the football this well in the National Football League. How about that veteran leadership? A big time run combined with some nice blocking by his offensive line, showing that the ins and outs of being a veteran still has his place in this league. His odometer is not totally turned over yet. And he floats one there incomplete. <laughs> Certainly some contact there, and that's why there's a penalty on the defender for pass interference. So hard to time it up for a defender to hit the receiver when the ball arrives. Got there a little bit early on that one. A fresh set of downs, and they're at the one. First and goal. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I don't know if there's any other way to put it, but that play was blown up right from the snap. How about the guys on the defensive side of the ball? It's almost like they were in the offensive huddle. Yeah, it's one thing to stand him up from that one-yard line. Pushing him back to the five, though. Wow. Yeah, I like what you just said there. Not just stand him up, but end up making a play on the other side of the line of scrimmage. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. The line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal. Here's Peterson on third and goal. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Adrian Peterson, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bills will extend their lead. Well, they decided to run it in and got it done on third. to Peterson and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game five yards on the carry good pickup on first down well, if you're a football guy that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there obviously the guy carrying the ball but how about the people up front leverage athleticism they created some nice space for him here's Wentz to throw and did he get the feet down no they'll say he did not it's incomplete that was a difficult catch, and I admire the fact that he actually caught the football. Worked so hard to get his feet down in bounds, tried to do the toe tap. Like my dad's an accomplished tap dancer. I'm not sure he would have gotten his feet in on that one. Is he really? By yeah, the way? That, that he is. How about that? What about Young Davis? No, no, it did not. It did not cross. It didn't Jeff carry Davis. over. No, it stopped right there. Nothing doing on that one. down carry it's hill look at this spin balance and he'll get into the end zone touchdown rams jeremy hill his second touchdown on the season now the rams have got this back to a one score game well partner that was another explosive run and one thing i've learned in our
Another tote for the workhorse here this afternoon. Peterson and able to work his way down to the 16. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Wins to throw on second down. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. So another snag for Fitzgerald, who in 2015 became the youngest player at age 32 to hit 1,000 receptions. He's piling up some more. Well, the way he's playing today, it's almost like he's trying to get a second thousand just in one contest. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Tavon Austin, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bills will add on to their lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well Stick on the ground on first down with Hill. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now this will be the ninth play on this drive. On second down, Hill try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. A couple of Bills team up to bring him down there. And this seemingly endless drive continues. So if I'm an offensive coordinator, there's one thing that I know for sure. This is one of the top five teams in the NFL against the run. So when I look at my playlist, I'm probably thinking about throwing it. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Kelvin Benjamin, his first touchdown on the year. And the Rams are able to get back within a touchdown. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination.
They give it to Peterson. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Only a yard on the gain there, and that'll set up third and 13. Wonder what's in the offensive playbook on third and 13. We're about to find out. Third and long, it's Wins. And he is going to be wrapped up and swung to the turf. It's JPP, seventh-year man Jason Pierre-Paul. In there to drop him for a loss of 10. And it'll be fourth and long. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Los Angeles, so long, everybody.